Hey guys, it's me again, Mr. X Ultimate, and uh, today I want to. Um, some of you guys may have seen it on Google Plus, because I I posted a comment, and I think I did on Discord as well on my alternation group that I was going to do a video on something, and you know this is it basically. It's not the same thing, but you know whatever. I just wanted to do it still. Uh, I don't really know if I can call it either a a, a reaction video or like debunking what they say, because you know. It, maybe it's a mix between both, I don't know, but I just felt like doing it. Um, also, you may have noticed that there's no Bandicam sign anymore, uh, and now there's not any like restrictions to 10 minutes. So maybe my videos are going to be longer if I want to. If not, well, there's just going to be you know the same the same thing. But I'm really happy that you know um, the Bandicam thing is gone. Uh, so shout out to Ricky. I don't really know. I don't remember his. Uh, his YouTube channel, I think it was Crunchyroll Studios, he uses the same thing and he uh, he helped me get a key gen for it. Uh, so yeah, shout out to, you, to Ricky. Uh, and yeah, I guess that's it. Now uh, what I want to do is that, well what happened basically is that yesterday I saw, you know, a documentary about Roblox and you know, obviously you know, you know how news channels are, there's just always fake news and stuff and like Roblox is dangerous, there's child rapists and, and stuff like that, you know. And there's so many, I, I was I was shocked because there was so many wrong misinformations in there, like, I just wanted to clear everything up, you know, I just think it's so dumb. And, you know, so, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do, like, I'm just gonna point out everything that's wrong and everything that's bullshit, so I'm probably gonna, like, again, once again, swear a lot in this video. And, uh, yeah, let's go. BBC5 investigates. Most of us have had that talk with children, don't talk to strangers. But how do parents enforce that when children are playing games online and... Uh, well, that's simple, alright? You know what the fuck you do? You, uh, you just don't, you know? You just don't let your kids play that. It's simple as that, alright? It's not fucking, it's not fucking hard. You don't need a fucking PED, PHG, whatever it's called. For that, you know, it's common sense, right? Fucking hell. You're just eight minutes in the video, dude, and there's already, like, a bunch of fucking retarded retard claims and shit. I mean, really? Anyone can talk to them. Uh. Tonight, an important warning to parents about who's chatting with their kids. Another kid. Kids on seemingly innocent games. Here's NBC5's Katie Kim. <laughs> Many kids nowadays prefer a different sort of playground. What the fuck is that music, dude? Why are they putting, like, fucking rave dubstep music over a fucking documentary about a kid's game? GG, dude. GG. Again, do it again. This playground is on kids' device. Ew. Fucking mobile players. You fucking scum. Whatever. PC Master Race, bro. Their games fueled by their own imaginations and He's creativity. But unlike on a traditional playground, That's Minecraft. dangers in the what? virtual world. Dude, you, you're gonna make that's Minecraft again. You're gonna make a documentary about Roblox, and now you're gonna, and then you're just gonna add like a bunch of fucking Minecraft games in there. Like, get, get out of here, dude. Fuck off. World are harder to spot. They can't see the perpetrator here. It's just neither. Well, yes, they can. It's fucking obvious. You know, like you can, like if you could. Oh my god. All right, I'll try to do that better. Well, neither can you, because you're too fucking lazy to get to check what the fuck your kid is doing online, you fat fuck. It's another kid, as far as they know. Yeah, One it's another kid, it's that. another kid, there's like, like, there uh, there are pedophiles, but like, most of the online daters are all kids, you know, they're like, oh, I want to get a girlfriend because it's cool, or whatever, they're just trying to imitate you. Like, you know, you know how, what they say, like, kids always imitate parents because, and, you know, older people because they're like, oh, I think it's cool, and, you know, they think it's cool and stuff. So, like, obviously when they see their mom and their dad being together, they think, oh, that's cool, I'm gonna get a girlfriend too. It's common sense. The hard way, when she says her son encountered some unsavory characters on a uh, that's Pokemon, but game called Roblox, which boasts Roblox. near the... Roblox! Be anything, build anything be anything that you can afford. 50 million users a month. Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Which boasts nearly 50... Is he... Oh my god, he's talking to a guest. He's at... 
I'm so done. He's talking to a guest. Are you fucking serious, dude? You can you can tell the person who like who, who went to play that game to find wrong things. He's probably like some fucking fifty year old fourteen. What? F yeah, fifty year old man or some shit that he doesn't understand anything about the online world. He's like, oh, I'm gonna talk to this guest. He thinks he can. Oh, I'm so done, dude. Fifty million users a month. He tells me that he saw Thank inappropriate you. females on this game. That they want. No, these are called thoughts. Be gone, thought. Closed. Nude images. Confusing. You can't, you can't, you can't send images on the Roblox. Get the fuck out of here, dude. You can't send nude images on the Roblox. You can't send images, period, on the Roblox. By the time you upload them, they're not gonna be, like, you can't even upload nude pictures or anything on Roblox. It's just, you know, because they're always moderated. To the eight-year-olds. Horrifying for his mom. I didn't realize that other people were- Oh, oh my god, so horrifying. A pizza place. Woo! Just start a oh, okay, yeah. Playing in the game with him. They can be whatever age they want, and there's no way for, for me as a parent to know that. This well, they're not fucking 50- they're not f fucking 46-year-old men. God damn. This example isn't even the worst allegation swirling around Roblox. There was pictures exchanged. No, you can't. No, 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 no. Shut the fuck up, all right? You can't send pictures on Roblox. How many times will I have to, like, what do these fucking cunts don't understand? There's no pictures on Roblox. You can't send pictures on Roblox. It's uh, just a chat. You, just, you can just type, that's it. And half of the shit you say, that's not even bad. It's fucking censored. You can't send pictures. You can't send audio. You can't send shit, all right? Shut the fuck up. God damn. I'm fucking triggered, dude. That's exchanged. Detectives in Louisiana are investigating a sexual predator who co- What? Dude. Dude. That's exchanged. Dude. What? Detectives in Louisiana are Detective. investigating- What is this? That's a DS. Dude. S I'm, can you even play Roblox on the DS? Why, why is that here? Like, DS is so out of, like, nobody uses DS anymore. I use this, like, I probably still have mine, and I used to use it when I was, like, nine. Like, back when I was 8, when I started playing Roblox, I used DS, I played, you know, on the DS and DSi and stuff. What the, what the fuck is that doing here? This is 2011. You know, this is 2017, not 2011. I can't English. Anyway. Investigating a sexual predator who contacted an 8-year-old boy through... I'm so dumb. A predator, dude. It's just a kid who's like, hey, want to be BF? Want to be me, BF, or some shit like that? Oh, Roblox. Chat. The game allows. Why are you. Okay, that's anyone. Minecraft. Dude. To create virtual amusement parks. It includes role playing. And okay, that's just a basic starter starter game. Roblox, like What's scores of other apps popular with kids, lets players talk. ML. Um, no, oh, MLG. What? What is this, dude? Talk to each other through a like chat function. We're talking. Okay, great. Just fucking do whatever. I don't know. Games that young kids are playing. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Death. Eight. Eight. If, by the way, you guys, it, like, you fucking retards. If you didn't look, like, mo most on the mobile app, it's recommended for ten-year-olds and and up. I mean, I'm, you know, obviously it's not, you know, you're not forced to be ten. But if you're gonna cry that oh it's inappropriate and then like it's recommended for eight year old it's recommended for ten year olds and your kid is eight then get really dude that's who's playing these games and the predators are getting smart about it Rich was no they're not there's no predators they're all other kids they're just like they 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 don't know what they're doing they're just other kids like how can you tell like you know I like how they say um. They say, uh, there's no way for you what, there's no way for me to know what age they are. Yeah, but, so how do you know it's a predator and not a kid? Huh? Like, how do you know, though? Like, you're gonna say, oh, I don't know if he's a no predator, but, well, you don't know if he's a kid either. Maybe he's a kid. Like, how do you know if he's a predator? Like, where's the common sense of that? Like, how does that make sense? You can't, like, you, you can't say, oh, I don't know what's his age, and then say, oh, well, I know he's a pedophile. How? You can't. That's not how it works. Stocky is a veteran detective who investigates online crimes. Yeah, veteran crimes. detective. He, he, 
Veteran of what? Veteran of assuming shit? Oh, oh, I, I assume that this guy's a predator and I'm always right because I have, I've, I've been doing that for years. Like, since, like, oh yeah, how many, how many pedophiles have you caught, right? You're just gonna bust in a, a fucking, you know, you're, you're just gonna bust, like, in a, in a random house, you know, that you track down and you're just gonna open that shit and it's a fucking kid. Oh, sorry, I thought we were a pedophile. He's fucking retards, dude. ...against children and also runs a consulting firm. He says about half of his cases originate from online gaming, and that chat function, Wistaki says, is a gateway for predators to Minecraft. contact kids. And that chat function, Wistaki says, is a gateway for predators to contact kids. Okay. No, man. It's directly and anonymous. My name is Jen. Yeah, it clearly says the fucking rules that you shouldn't put your name out there. So if you put it and it's and you get fucking, I don't know, it's just in the rules. Read the fucking rules, right? And that's not even Roblox. That's Minecraft. Like, when they're in the games, they know nobody's looking. But law enforcement. What do you mean they know nobody's looking? What? Are you? What? And officials say okay, parents need to sense. look and be aware of game settings. Yeah, For example, be aware of them. Watch what your fucking do kid does. If you watch what the fucking kid does, you really think he's gonna get caught by a fucking pedophile? What are you? What are you fucking dumb? God damn! It's not the fucking game that's the problem. It's the fucking parents. The, these fucking crackheads who are like, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't know how to have fun with my kids. So I'm just gonna leave him off in the game. Like, dude, if you know, learn to edu educate your fucking kids. You know. Don't leave your kids out there because you don't know how to have fun with them and do shit with them. You know, that's called being a fucking irresponsible parent. Jeez. Example, we found in the popular lip-syncing app, Musical.ly... Okay, how is that... What? Why are you talking about Musical.ly now? How is that... New accounts are set to public by default. Meaning anyone can view videos and send direct messages. A Musical.ly spokesperson says users can change these settings and the app strongly encourages parents to monitor their kids' accounts. Do you know any of the people that you're playing with? No. You can't, but you don't even know the game, you don't even know your friends. <laughs> Duh. Fucking read. Like, oh my god. Who plays online to play with their friends in real life? Who does that? Like, oh dude, I know you in real life, but let's go just go play Gmod online together. Instead of like playing it, playing it together like side by side. Who the fuck does that? Nobody does that. Obviously you're not gonna know them because it's a public game. In the wake of troubling reports- Like, it's, it's like, do you know every 7 million, 7 billion people on Earth? Do you know every, everyone on Earth? You know, there's like 7 billion people, do you know all of them? No, you fucking don't, you fucking retard. Roblox says it's recently rolled like, out new security. When you walk down the road, when you walk down the, the fucking, you know, the street, do you see, like, you see someone, do you fucking know them? No, you fucking don't. Features. That includes enabling parents to shut off chat completely and allowing yeah. parents to choose which games their kids play. Yeah, Roblox no says the safety of our community is a top priority. Well, yeah, no, not really because of money, but you know, it, like it's not fucking Roblox's job to do everything. And like they can't fucking do everything. You know, one, one part is for Roblox to do, and the other is just for the parents. But the fucking thing is that their parents are too fucking lazy and they're too fucking. You know, busy doing fucking crack or meth or whatever, and you know, they don't want to fucking teach your kids or, you know, monitor what they do. This, Thank is, you, 30, Annie. this is a 30 minutes long video. I can see it right here. Good job. At home, many parents say they're having the safety talk with their kids at a much younger age. You're, you're not having the fucking safety, ch safety talk for shit, dude. Because you're not even monitoring what your fucking kids do. You have to have a little faith in your kids that they'll come to you when situations like, like this part, arise and like, no, have... No, no, I'm so done with this fucking thing. All right. The worst part is that Roblox is probably like one of the most safest, you know, kid-friendly games. And like, do you imagine like that, you know, if if you can't handle that, imagine like playing it in the other game. Like, I don't know, fucking CSGO or Gary's Mod. Like, you know, it, that's like the best, the, that's the best you can do online because, you know, you can't moderate everything online, alright? That's not, you know, their fucking fault. So, if you're not happy with that, well, just go fucking educate your children. Go buy, go buy him a fucking soccer ball or, you know, a bicycle. Like, when I was a kid, I was, I, I was riding bikes outside and playing fucking hide and seek. Not, you know, wasting all my time online. Today I do, but I don't, you know, well, I do, yeah. Do I? I don't know, I don't give a shit. You know, I used to play with Legos and fucking Hot Wheels. Today, what they do is they send fucking, you know, they waste their time online. Goddamn.
saying a lot of goddamn faith in yourself today. that you can educate yourself on these dangers. Police say the best thing parents can do is sit with their children and go through their friends' lists on games and make sure parents go to their friend lists on games. Um. Go to their friend list. Uh, no? I mean, even if you look at someone's random person's... Like, even if you look at my profile, you couldn't know what per type of person I am. Like, it could be a fucking, you know... Like, if you didn't check my YouTube channel, because obviously I don't sound like a fucking rapist. I'm just a teenager, but like, if you just look at my account, but uh, you wouldn't be able to know if I'm just a teenager or a fucking pedophile, dude. Just come on, you know. It's called fucking DMs, you know, you, just, you, you look through the DMs, that's it, you know. Little do you know, maybe you're gonna see your kid talking to, you know, wrong to a bunch of other people, you know. And then you're gonna say, oh, maybe they're not all pedophiles or some shit like that, I don't know. Uh, hello? Friends personally know who their kids are chatting with. Katie Kim, NBC5 Investigates. Okay, that was a fail. Uh, that was a fail. Whatever. Um. So yeah, I guess that was it. Um. Peace out. Like for from like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. I guess. Um. Uh, yeah. I don't know what other video I'm gonna do soon. Probably more. Uh, let's talk about. Let's talk or whatever. I don't know what to call them. Um. I don't know what, like, like I said earlier, I don't know what this is, if it's Let's Talk or not, but, um, yeah, I just, you know, mostly now I use my channel to get stuff off my chest, but I'm maybe gonna do another Noob Invasion videos, tell me if you, tell me, tell me in the comments, uh, if you guys are tired of Noob Invasion videos, and I'll just stop, but, um, yeah, other than that, peace out, and, uh, yeah, that was it.